Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, in the last video, we learned how to reflect any object along the four lines, y-axis, x-axis, y equals to x, and y equals to minus x. And we also learned some standard cases for each of the straight lines. In this video, we are going to see what happens when you have to reflect it along any other line, any other of the four lines that we did in the last video. So uh, if you're new here, uh, I would suggest uh, you check out the previous video. And if you're new here, I would also suggest that you do subscribe to the channel and make sure to like this video also. Okay, so it says here, reflect triangle ABC. So it's the same triangle that we're gonna be using as the last one along the line Y equals to one. Okay, now first things first, if the line Y equals to one is not drawn, now, what kind of a line is y equals to one going to be? If you're thinking straight, you're right, all lines are straight. But uh, what I'm looking for is whether it's gonna be horizontal, vertical, upward sloping, downward sloping, okay? That's what we're looking for. So y equals to one, we sh you should know from prior knowledge is that is a horizontal line, okay? Is a horizontal line such that it cuts the y-axis at one, okay? If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, now. So if what I have to do now is I have to reflect this triangle right here. So we're going to follow the exact same procedure. Okay, we're going to look at every single point one by one. We're going to see how far it is from the line of reflection and we're going to take it to the other side. You know, that's it. So let's start from point A here. So point A, let's count and I want you guys to count with me. So point A from the line of reflection is one, two, three, four, four units above. So that means if I reflect it, I'm going to take it one, two, three, four, four units below. Okay, then let's do with point, uh, do the same with point B. So point B is one unit above. If you reflect it, that means you're gonna have to take it one unit below. Okay, so I will uh, at the same time, right, mark uh, the points. So here's A prime, okay, and here is B prime. And then let's do the same for point C. So point C is one unit above the line of reflection. That means it's gonna land one unit below once you reflect it. So here is C prime. Once you've done all this, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna join these three points and make a nice triangle over here. Okay, so there you go. And one thing, you should always keep your eyes open and uh, see that the image should be the same size as the object. If it's not, that means you've done something wrong. So there you go. This is the uh, triangle ABC reflected along the line Y equals to one. Okay, then it says reflection along any other line. Well, that's uh, relevant. Uh, reflect along uh, reflect triangle ABC along the line X equals to minus one. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna draw the line X equals to minus one. What kind of a line is X equals to minus one going to be? It's again going to be, not again, actually, it's going to be a vertical line, but this time it's gonna cut the X axis at minus one. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We are going to count. Let me just change the color of the line to red. We're going to count the distance, the perpendicular distance of each point from the line of reflection and take it across. So this is going to be seven plus one. So eight units towards the right side. So that means I'm going to take it eight units towards the left side. So if I go eight units from minus one, that means we end up at minus nine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then let's do the same for point B. So one, two, well, it's in line with A, so obviously the distance is going to be the same, but you know, just to, uh, just to be on the safe side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Obviously it's gonna be directly below A. So it's a good idea to mark them as we go along. A, A prime, B prime. And then let's talk about C. So C is one, two, three three units towards the right, that means once I reflect it, it's gonna be one, two, three, three units towards the left. So there you go, this is where C prime is going to be. Now we're going to join these three points with the help of straight lines. And there you have it, we now have our image. Yeah, we now have our image, okay? Uh, one thing that I will suggest is that once you're done, make sure to erase these arrows, okay? Or you don't really have to make these arrows, you can just simply uh, use a scale or you can just count and then mark, okay? I'm making these arrows because it'll be easier for you to understand. And uh, one thing that I always like to suggest is that make sure to see that the size is the same. So if you look at the base of the object, so the base is one, two, three, four, five units. If you look at the base of the image, one, two, three, four, five, it's the same. So that means we have done this correctly. Okay, now the third and the final example where we have to reflect triangle ABC, but this time you have to do it along the line Y equals to X plus two. Okay, so whenever you have a straight line, which is which has X and Y both, 
So in that case, what you have to do is you have to, uh, when you're making the line, what you have to do is you have to uh, assume points, okay? So that's exactly what we're going to do over here. So I'm going to make this uh, box over here and I'm just going to assume some values of x. So normally we take three values. I'm sure you must have done this when uh, back in grade seven or eight, I don't know, that you take a negative value, a zero value and a positive value. So we're going to do exactly that. Although in order to make a straight line, you just need two points. Doesn't matter whether they're both negative, positive. Obviously the board can't be zero, they'll just be one point but you just need two points okay so minus one zero and one so we're gonna plug in minus one in place of x so minus one plus two is positive one zero plus two is two one plus two is three okay so i'm gonna mark these points over here minus one one is right over here zero two is right over here one comma three is going to be right over here so we're going to join them with the help of a straight line so there you go yeah, that looks right. Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna reflect A, B, and C along this line one by one, okay? So this time we're gonna count diagonally, okay? So here's your line, point A, as you can see is two diagonals. So we're gonna reflect it and take two diagonals over to the other side. Point B, well, I'm gonna start from B and go towards the line so that way I won't lose track, is one, two, three, three and a half diagonals. So that means I'm gonna take a three and a half diagonals over to the other side. So half, one, two, and three. And then point C is one diagonal. So reflect it, let's take it to the other side. There you go. Okay. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase these arrows because they make it look very untidy. And I'm gonna join the three points with the help of a straight line and make a nice triangle. Make sure to keep your eyes and ears open. Uh, eyes actually, not ears. Uh, and make sure that the size remains the same, okay? And you don't even have to uh, mark the points. We do that for our own sake, you know, uh, just so that we are able to understand it better. But since we've been following a certain pattern, let's do that over here also. So there you go. We now have successfully reflected triangle, whoops, sorry, triangle ABC along the line y equals to x plus two, okay? And there you go, this is the one, this is the only way through which, uh, the best way actually, reflection is done. And I hope you guys have understood this and that's, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to determine reflection. So for example, what if you're given an object and you're given an image and you're asked to define or identify what line is the object reflected by? So that's what we're gonna do in the next video. So I'll see you guys then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.